Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be taking a look at the cheapest magnetic cube from Cubicle Labs yet, the MF3RS2M. Cubicle Labs released the MF3RS2M on the 29th of September this year, and is the cheapest addition to their line of magnetic 3x3s by far. It'll set you back around $27, making it a little more than half the cost of their standard magnetic 3x3s, which cost just under $50 on the cubicle.us. The lower price makes this cube a much more economical option for a wider range of cubers. Unfortunately for some, this cube only comes in one color option, stickerless bright. I personally enjoy these shades, however, so this has not been a problem for me. To wrap up the specs of this cube, it measures exactly 56 millimeters on all sides and weighs approximately 81 grams. And when solving, I don't notice anything weird about the externals of this cube. The turning on this cube is excellent, and it's probably my favorite part about this cube. It has a silky smooth, extremely soft feeling, with a sound similar to the Weilung GTS but much quieter and more subdued. When I first received this cube, I thought that it was a bit too slow for my liking, but after loosening it up a quarter of a turn on each side, the speed was pretty much perfect. It only requires a small amount of effort to turn, so solving with this cube feels practically effortless, but at the same time, the cube doesn't have any problems with overshooting. One of my favorite aspects of this cube is that it doesn't require any real setting up at all. Even with many of the other magnetic cubes, most of the time, you have to spend a bit of time lubing and tensioning the cube to find what works for you, and that can take quite a while. However, after loosening up the tensions on this cube once, it's already a serious contender for my main, and I don't think there's anything else I could really do to improve it. I've been using it for the past week or so, and I think that I'll give it a go at my next competition to see how I perform with that under pressure. The one main area of this cube where its price point is kind of noticeable is in the corner cutting. It can't quite do what most speed cubes can do nowadays, as it cuts a little bit over 45 forward and about a piece reverse. This isn't bad by any standard, but it is worth noting that it's not quite at the level of most other recent releases in the speed cubing market. Taking a quick look at the mechanism, it has very standard pieces with squared off corners and normal looking edges and centers. When doing averages with this cube, I've noticed that although I tend to execute algorithms slightly slower on average, my solves have a much smoother flow to them, and so I still get really good times with this cube, usually low 8s or sub 8. I think that I'm slightly faster with my Valk M, but only marginally, and I've been using that cube for over 6 months now, and so I'm sure I just need to get more used to the turning on this cube. Of course, I'll probably switch between them since I oftentimes have trouble sticking with one cube for my main, but I am very impressed that this cube has become one of my mains already, considering that the MF3 cubes have always been on the low end of the price spectrum. Overall, I've been extremely impressed with this cube. It has a low price for its genre, a satisfying feeling, and excellent speed and controllability. The corner cutting isn't the best I've ever seen, but it certainly is enough, and I haven't had any problems with lockups, catches, or corner twists on this cube. Additionally, in the 600 or so solves I've done on it, it hasn't popped a single time. So that's it for this review of the MF3 RS2M. If you'd like to buy this cube, and I highly recommend you do, the link for it is in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!